I finished Black Myth Wukong. Let's talk about this. First of all, I would love to mention that there will be no spoiler footage and I will show you no boss fights, just, you know, for you to experience. I think that you might see it elsewhere, but I just wanted to go for, you know, not to show you any of that because I feel it's great to experience. All right, let's jump right into it. So, my expectations before the game release was not that great. I was like, yeah, this looking insanely good. Maybe too good to be true. I thought it will be like a Dark Souls ripoff, right? Because it, it, it were hype, right? Elden Ring and everything. I'm like, yeah, this will be something like that. But the quality will not be there. It's just visuals, right? Unreal Engine 5, everyone can do the, the visuals nowadays. But the, the substance under that might not be there. So I was like cautiously, but optimistic because it looks good. And it's Chinese mythology. That it's not, you know, it was not done. It have not been done before kind of in this scope or at least not that I know of any game that would be you know it is hugely like uh, anticipated so I was so uh, cautiously optimistic but yeah it it surprised me quite a lot so I jump into the game because you know I wanted to test it out for myself I didn't want to listen to anybody who say so I have not watched anything I was like let's jump into this and let's try it out for ourselves and first thing that that really like um, made the difference for me was that it's not like Dark Souls I think everybody, like, who saw the trailers and the boss fights and everything, everyone was convinced, even myself, that it's like Dark Souls. But I feel it's more like God of War. It's like action-oriented game where you progressing through the bosses and you are, like, you know, it's a spectacle. You are using some of the mechanics of Dark Souls, for example, the Estus Flask, so you, you have that. And you have shrines that you will, like, resurrect from, right, when you die. And also you can rest on teleport to like a bonfires but that's kind of it because you are not losing anything when you die you can repeat it over and over and over again you are not losing any souls or nothing like that you are just progressing forward and forward and you are stronger and stronger all kind of all the time so that was really really interesting change at least in my head like oh this is not like dark souls also when i was just what the hell is happening in this time of age? There is no MTX possibilities. You can buy, you can't buy anything. There was no early access like like payment that you can go for uh, to play like two days early or three days early. There was nothing like that. And it was like deluxe version, right? That you have some armor and stuff. But I was like, is that is that really like today a time of age like where we are living that's that's cool i like that and also the, the it was like the first game of the developers uh, that's on pc because they done some mobile things right you can be like so that will be like that there will be some monetization right but there is nothing like that i i am just still astonished that they pull it off and by now you know that the game is absolutely like smashing every single like metric there is and i feel for a good reason oh thoughts about the game why why the the positive things about the game i feel that the most like what what i like the most from the game right from the get-go when i i started the game i played like 15 or 20 minutes what i enjoyed immediately was the progression was satisfying progression that you are getting something all the time you are getting new stuff you are getting new armor you are getting new skills that are allowing you to do new things you are unlocking new spells you are just you on the thread mill that you are getting like those those uh, like uh, things for yourself and you are all like the, the pacing of the things were just incredible i was like oh i want more I want more and that what uh, the more was filled with the good gameplay and it was fluid that was the the gameplay I, I don't know how it translated through the video if for people that have not played but it's so goddamn fluid the, the movement the 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 like dodging around and uh, just all the basic things that it is supposed to be in the game is just way too fluid it's really good i don't know i i might exaggerating and you're saying hey i, I call yourself down this is too much but it's not it's really not it's just the the when you hit the the space bar or i don't know what is in a controller and you do the perfect dodge 
it just feels so good. You want to do it more. You just you feel the combat. So that's that's really insanely good. Another thing that immediately catch my eye was the story. Was the story was really nice right from the get go when you're starting and from the like tutorial or the first like encounter with the with the Wukong and, and stuff. You you are like what the hell is happening? And then uh, you are starting to play like for real and you're like oh where where this is going? Who is that guy? And who what the hell? What is this boss? And and it's just just the story pacing was Im incredible and especially like the the chapters right the each chapter got a different theme and different stuff and there is an animation that is always at the end of the and uh, and the end of the chapter and it's always like different style sometimes it's like anime right sometimes it's like drawn sometimes it's painted sometimes it's like stuffed like i don't know stuffed what is that even uh, it's just art through the through it, it's just Incredible! Like you are always like some surprised. You, there, there is always something new. For example, the how much, how many enemy types are there? It's just incredible because sometimes in the games, almost in every game, there is like the variety is just not there. For example, yeah, Dragon's Dogma Two. This is like you are in 20 hours into the game and you are still meeting still the same enemies. There are like four of them or five, I don't know, maybe 20. But here there is a lot there is a lot of enemies just in the first like first chapter. When you get to the second one, there are a whole new bunch of enemies and you are just meeting new and new all the time. And it, and it just feels really good. All the enemies got different tool set, like different moves. There are different bosses. They are incredibly cool because they, they have different aspects to them that really like shine. It's just weird stuff, but you are surprised again. Like, what is that even? And uh, yeah, it's it's cool. I love that. But what got me really was the linearity of the game, especially at the beginning. That was one of the things that I couldn't like absorb i couldn't get it done after the second after the first chapter i ended the first chapter i went for the second one and then it started to be better i i get used to how it goes because there is no indications there is no indication where you go and where you haven't been you have to like explore but the game is kind of like linear there are like paths that you can go to the left and right and then you don't know what is the like main main path and what is the side path? Especially in the first chapter, I finished the first chapter. I killed the last boss before I went into the side area that I explore. But I thought that the side area is actually the main path. I was like, I arrived somewhere. I like, nah, this is this is not right. Let's go back. And I teleport back and I finish the act and then I teleported inside the the uh, path that I thought it is the main path and there was one boss. I killed him and I returned back. I was like, what? But on the other hand, you have the opportunity to go back and finish that fight and, and it feels good. Like after the, I figured out how the game like one want wants me to feel uh, about the exploration i were i were more good about that but it was interesting to know because some some areas were like you were running on the on the way and there was like path to the left and forward and you're like all right let's go forward you went forward then you have like you have like two paths or three paths you're like forward left and right and like okay let's go left but you have to remember okay there was a path that you could go left and there is forward and right so you explore that and you have to return back and and on the one side it was just nicely triggering my brain that that it was like i i remember this that's cool <laughs> so a little bit of achievement inside the game and i felt good about that so in the end that was a really good decision to go for linear approach because you are going through that action to action as not like down downtime but there is a lot of running if you want to explore quite a lot because you are running around and you if you want to you know look into every nook and cranny so yeah but it's good what is another interesting thing that that got me was like how how long the game was but it was not that long 
I don't know how to explain it. I, I felt like the game is incredibly long, but I enjoy every single like minute of it. But after that, I, I looked on the gameplay, it was like 40 hours. So I felt like this is, this is insanely good. Like in, it's just enormous. But it feels not like that I am bored to, to play it, like when it will end is so long. No, that. It was like, I am playing for hours. I experienced so much. But actually, it's not that long game, right? So, so it was interesting feeling about that. The, the story and the, the, the world, how he presented itself and how many things it throw at you. I feel that's really enriching the, 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 the idea what you have inside your head, how big the game actually is. So yeah, that was kind of cool. What I think is that the game will surely be game of the year. I can't believe that there will be another game that will be released or any other game that was released to be on this level. I don't know, the music wise, the gameplay wise, the, uh, the like the aesthetics, the the setting, the the newity to it, like the, it's, it's something absolutely like different than the others. Uh, so I feel it's, this will be game of the year and I am so, so goddamn glad for the devs to, to pull something like that because for now, right now, it got like 500,000 positive reviews on, on the Steam. There's like 95% positive reviews of them. So there's, this is just unheard of. It's a lot. They, they break all the, all the like records, right? And it's... It's pushing back to the story-based games that are linear. They are like, you will experience this in 30 hours or 40 hours. You are done. You can move on. Because nowadays, a lot of those companies try to feed us all the life services that you have to pay, like play all the time. There is no like end to it. But if this got a lot of success, there could be like people, for example, like Baldur's Gate 3, all those companies just showing the whole market and other companies that it's possible to go for the single player experience and be like well received and earn a lot of money because <laughs> yeah, companies want that, right? That, that's why they're doing live service. But I'm so glad that something like that was made and it was well received and is just great. So yeah, what I heard uh, that developers right now working on the expansion and it should be of the length of the Elder Drink. So it should be like a major, major expansion to the story and I guess there will be more bosses, more armor to collect and more stuff to do. But yeah, I feel that's it. That's it for today's video. Hope you enjoy uh, this talk a little bit about Wukong. I really enjoyed the game. What about you? Have you played the game? Have you finished the game? Or what are your thoughts about it? Or is it like overhyped? Are you on the scale like, hey, this is too much. This is like not that good. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, it's not good. Or have you played the game and you are not enjoying it at all? I would love to know. Am I, am I the only one who is enjoying the game? I, I guess not the only one, but is there someone who's like, I have a different opinion than this overwhelmingly positive. So yeah, that's it for today. As I said, you can check meanwhile our next video. You can check the Space Marine 2 rent or the Remnant 2. As I said in the before with there, I will be starting the Remnant 2 video or uh, the playthrough because there will be a new DLC coming. So yeah, we will do that. Have you clicked it already? If not, you are still listening to me. You can hit the subscribe button because you will not miss any other video in the future. But that's it. Thank you very much and I will see you all next time. Peace.